McCown was working and going to school in Dayton when her family in Richmond, Indiana, says she disappeared without a trace. Nikki McCown disappeared from a Richmond laundromat. Immediately following her disappearance from this laundromat, it was thought that Nikki McCown was abducted from here. But months later, police found her car in Dayton with her clothes neatly folded in the back seat. That got police thinking she could not have been abducted because there was no sign of a struggle. Probably be in a field or maybe even a, in a pond or a lake. Uh, but to be found in an apartment complex and to find out that it's been driven um, at least for a month or so, um, yeah, that is kind of surprising. The vehicle was found parked at the Meadow of Catalpa Apartments in Dayton. Authorities are not sure why the vehicle was at the apartment complex, but family members say it's the same community where McCowan's ex-boyfriend still lives. Now McCowan's loved ones, especially her nine-year-old daughter, wait for answers. She'll go upstairs and they'll say, Grandma, I said my prayers for Mommy. And I, I put them on the refrigerator. I got about five of them there because every night she does this. It, it's a start. It's more we've ever had. It's what we've been waiting on. We're just hoping it comes to a quick, quick conclusion and uh, we're keeping our hopes up. To go to bed at night and not to know if your sister is alive or dead is killing me inside. We deserve an end of this. Whoever you are, whoever you are, you know, God doesn't look like ugly and you're gonna be found, and I pray for you. And my family goes through pain, my grandma does, and I just want my mom home just to be with me. Former Trotwood police officer Tommy Swint, recently named as a person of interest in the disappearance of his former friend, is trying to clear his name. People that they thought was friends with Nikki, they spoke to him, and it was, it's a lot of them. You know, so that's per why they spoke to me, because I was a friend of her. Tommy says he worked with Nikki before she disappeared back in 2001 and was last questioned by Richmond police five years ago. But he was never told he was a person of interest in this mysterious disappearance, and he didn't mention the matter when he applied to become a Trotwood police officer. It was just routine question. Many people at the prison were questioned. Nobody was told that they was a person of interest or, or a suspect in the case. Clearly, if something came up in his character that demonstrated that he had a propensity to lie or be dishonest or to hide or conceal matters, clearly the polygraph examination would have revealed that. However, August 31st, Swint resigned from the Trotwood force. Actually, I was forced to resign. He said because I didn't mention it, that I was a person of interest in this case. But like I stated to him, Chief, I didn't know that I was a person of interest in this case. I didn't know I was a suspect in this case. I'm angry. <laughs> the family members of Nikki McCowan are directing that rage at the Richmond, Indiana Police Department. The skeletal remains of a female was discovered last week west of Indianapolis. But the McCowan family may not know if that's Nikki or not for months. Yeah, it, it's going to take three months to match the DNA because I understand that some of the swabs were lost. And I'm not sure who's who's responsible for that. Officials here at the Richmond Police Department refuse to comment about this case on camera, but they would say that there are no missing DNA samples and they're hoping to have some answers real soon. Nikki was last seen at a Richmond laundromat in July of 2001, and the latest news about the discovery of these remains is especially hard on Nikki's 11-year-old daughter. The little girl's mom said that my mom was dead. And other kids talk about it. That's why the McCowans are asking the police to help push the identification process along. If it is Nikki, we'd like to know as soon as possible. We've already waited two and a half years, you know, on any kind of response. But Nikki's mom is still holding out hope her daughter will be found alive. you got to prove it to me, then I will believe. But anybody can say one thing, but unless you got proof, you, you can't prove it. They say she was planning a wedding and spending a lot of time in Cincinnati. That's why they became alarmed when they heard about the body of a black female between 25 and 35 years old found here yesterday in a Cincinnati suburb. As strong as she is, I know, I believe she's all right, you know, but when times like this come up, I can't help but to wonder because it's been two years that I haven't seen my sister. And the wait will continue. Just this afternoon, police reported the body does not belong to Nikki McCown. There are people out here that do know, and I am really sick and tired of them hiding behind what they call justice. I got to try to keep my family together, mm -hmm. keep them strong. Somebody's got to know an answer and give it sometime. <laughs> we can't go on like this. We're fighting amongst ourselves. 
like this March, the trail is getting colder. Big breaks that turned out to be nothing and theories that fell apart. They even met with a psychic on the Montel Williams show. They've also written and called the national news outlets, but are only getting local coverage. We're still working with our local media and we're not giving up on you guys because we know you guys are still here and caring. It looks like the rest of the world doesn't care unless you're semi-important. There are theories that Nikki was killed and others that she left town on her own and is still alive right now. Do you think Nikki McCown's alive? I really don't know at this point. In actuality, we know somebody knows something, somebody saw something, they're just not coming forward, and that's the frustrating part. In the back of my mind, just doing these walks and stuff, it still gives me hope because they haven't found her body, they haven't found anything, so my sister could be alive. We would like to have something else to work with when it comes down to solving this case. But it looks like we're either going to have to rely on the public or some other information we're going to do that. We want to answer. <laughs> And Nikki, if you are out there and you hear me, I love you and I will not stop looking for you.